Hey there everybody, just a quick video for you today about setting up printers on Ubuntu with cups rather than using the desktop environment's native settings for printers. The reason for this is sometimes I run into issues where the printer may show up, it may not by default, and I've noticed that if I go through adding a printer through the settings panel in the desktop environment that it can be a little odd and strange and uh, have errors or not allow me to configure things properly. So as a starting point, I like to go into cups. There's a web interface and just set up the printer. And then once that's set up, you can use the desktop environment settings panel to configure options and things like that. So let me run through that real quick here and show you what that looks like. So on vanilla Ubuntu, I'm going to go into the settings panel, like I said, if I come down to devices and printers, now on occasion it will actually show the printer by default, like I said, um, but what's weird is if I flip back and forth, sometimes it shows it, sometimes it doesn't. If I try to add a printer here and it finds the printer and I click add, you'll see that after a few seconds here, it's gonna come up and say it's searching for drivers and then Normally, we'll just say it failed to add the printer. Uh, it comes back here to the screen, and it's it's <clears throat> for whatever reason it's just not working very well. So rather than messing around with this and getting frustrated with it, a very easy thing you can do is pull up the Cups web interface, and that's on your local machine, which that 127.0.0.1 means local host or local system, and then the colon 631 is the port you're connecting to the TCP port. So in this case, 631, that takes us to cups. And this is pretty simple. Just go to administration. We want to add a printer. Now, if it'll ask you to log in with your username and password. It should accept your desktop, the normal user that you're using. If for some reason it won't, or let's say you're not on Ubuntu, or maybe there's some variant of it that uh, behaves differently than I'm aware of. <laughs> if you try to use your desktop username, and it doesn't work, you may need to add yourself to the LP admin group. And I'll show you how to do that after we run through this here. By default on here, it seems as though I'm able to get in without being part of that group. So let me go ahead and click OK. Now if I click Add Printer, it's going to take me to another screen. And you'll see here that my printer is showing up. I go ahead and click that and click Continue. And so you can change the name here. I don't really need it to say Series and it's in my office. I don't need to share it, click continue. And now it's gonna present you with the most likely candidates for the driver. Sometimes this doesn't populate this way and you may need to actually select the printer manufacturer as well as then go down through a list of drivers. In either case, it's really not that difficult. Just find the one for your printer. Uh, I'm gonna select the Guten print option because that seems to give me the best um, configuration for the options like printing in color versus grayscale or um, setting which paper tray is getting pulled from during printing. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick Guten print, add my printer. And the next screen it shows me is the default settings. So if I always want to print in grayscale, I can select that. Uh, if I always want to load from a particular tray, I can do that. It, it doesn't matter what you set here because you can always change those options when you actually print something, but it can be a convenience to, to have it set. So I'm just going to leave it as is, set default, it says it's been set successfully, and takes me to the printers and to this printer. Gives me the status, and then from here, if I ever need to in the future, I can come back and actually make changes to this. But the cool thing is now that I've added this and I come back to my printer uh, configuration in the desktop environment, it's showing me that it's there and that it has the right driver and everything. And if I go to options, it's going to show me all the right options. And if I go ahead and print something and select that printer, you see now I have all of the options here that I can change on the fly as I'm printing. So the other thing I wanted to show you was if you had a problem with your user, not 
uh, the web interface not allowing you to log in with your user, you can add your user using the user mod. And you're going to do this as sudo. So user mod dash a for add g to group. You want to say what group? Say so lp admin, and then your username, or you can use the variable of oh, not home user. And it will add, ask you for your password, and then add you to the group. And if you ever are curious about what groups you belong to and you're not sure, you can actually put in the groups command and then it will show you which groups you belong to. Um, the Ubuntu option is not an Ubuntu group, it's actually the username. So if your username was Joe, it would be Joe ADM CD ROM. Uh, and then you see here we have LP admin now. So that's basically it, just a quick workaround, an easier way sometimes to deal with printers if you're having trouble. And like I said, this is specific to Ubuntu variants for me, but uh, you may have this issue on any distribution. And the other thing I'll mention is if you do have issues like that, that um, what could be happening also is that the root user has privileges, but your user doesn't. You can still add your user to the group like we did here, but um, you could also just use the root user. The difficulty there is if you add a printer as a root user, I'm not entirely sure you'd be able to configure the options under the desktop environment. So um, probably not a bad idea to just add yourself to that LP admin group if you're having that issue. All right, that's it. Quick video. Hope you enjoy these. Like I said, uh, if you have any questions, comments, whatever, leave them below. <clears throat> you know, please subscribe, see my new videos as they come out. And I really appreciate you watching and I will see you again very soon.